Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will use the materials shown here in order to make a very simple but also very interesting experiment. A little bit of ink, two aluminum plates that are placed in parallel to each other, a neodymium magnet, you can also use a regular magnet, the stronger the magnet the better, a syringe or a dropper, and a container with water. The experiment is the magnetohydrodynamic propulsion, which is a method of propulsion that uses no moving parts, but only electric and magnetic fields. This method is based on the Lorentz force. When you have a conductor that carries a current and is immersed in a magnetic field, the conductor feels a force, which is the so-called Lorentz force. And this force is proportional to the intensity of the current and the magnetic field. The larger the current and or the magnetic field, the larger the Lorentz force will be. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The direction of the Lorentz force is always perpendicular to the plane formed by the magnetic field and the current vectors. And this direction is given by the right hand law. Therefore, if we change the direction of the magnetic field or the direction of the current, then the Lorentz force will also change direction. In order to make the experiment, I will take the two aluminum plates and place them inside the container with water and the magnet will be below. Therefore, we have the conditions for the Lorentz force to appear. We have a magnetic field created by the magnet and I will apply a voltage to the two aluminum plates and the water inside will carry the current. Water is not a very good conductor, however, a small current will flow between the plates, the aluminum plates. So there will be a force that will be, uh, uh, there will be a force in the water between the plates. Therefore, the water will flow from one side to the other due to the Lorentz force. I have water in my container. It is normal tap water. I will place the magnet below. Let me put these pieces of wood to give stability to the container. And also I will connect the power supply. This is DC current to the aluminum plates in order for a current to flow through the water. Now I will turn on the power supply and put some ink in the water in order to observe the flow.
As you can see, the water flows from left to right. Let's now test the direction of the flow. As we commented before, the direction of the Lorentz force depends on the direction of the current and the magnetic field. Let's first try by changing the direction of the current. And now the water must flow in the other direction. Let's see. There it is, going from right to left. And now, if we change the direction of the magnetic field by turning the magnet, now we must have flow in the original direction. As I said before, the magnitude of the Lorentz force depends on the magnitude of the current and the magnetic field. I have no way of increasing the magnetic field because I do not have a stronger magnet. But I can have a larger current by putting some salt in the water in order to make it a better conductor. This water has now a little bit of salt so the current must increase. Let's do the experiment again to see the difference. The flow was much more intense now that the water is more conductive and uh, you may be wondering why we don't have submarines or boats that use this method of propulsion since it seems to be uh, much more simple, no mobile parts, only a current applied to a pair of conductors. Well. Despite the fact that this method is known since uh, 1960, more or less, and a lot of research has been put into this, the system is still uh, very inefficient and has uh, other problems. That is, the, the trust produced by this proportional system compared to the energy input that you must put into the system is very small. Also, you may have noticed the, the little bubbles in the two metal electrodes. That is because of the electrolysis in the water that is uh, naturally produced when you have a current flowing between two metals immersed in a conducting medium that electrolysis eventually will ruin your electrodes and that is one of the problems of this system. And also, the more important problem is the low efficiency. Okay, there you have it. Magneto-hydrodynamic propulsion. A very simple experiment that you can make at home or for a school project. Thanks for your visit, I hope you liked the video and see you in the next one.